this video, I took out my Solar G1.6 Trans Blood Red. Let's do this! This guitar was the first Solar I ever got. It has a Swamp Ash body, Duncan Solar pickups. It has three, two knobs for tone and one for volume. And their push pull, not the toggle switch like the eight string or the seven string. It has stainless steel frets. It has a red solar logo on the 12th fret. It has rosewood fingerboard, locking tuners, Evertune bridge. I gotta say it again, the Duncan Solars. They might be medium output, but for what they are, they sound great. This guitar has a swamp ash body, if I didn't say it before. I just wanted to make sure I said that. This guitar doesn't get used as often as it used to because I'm not really comfortable playing single cuts. It's like the guitar that everyone goes for, but not me. It's just too awkward. That and Explorers, they're just too much to work around. But this sounds awesome. I think the medium output pickups actually works in the favor for the fact that I use it for higher tunings. It's a lot more articulate than a high output pickup. I think that's why Ola initially made those Duncan Solar pickups. Because he described it as when you strum a chord you can hear each individual string a lot clearer than other pickups. But I, I talked enough about this guitar, enough of me sitting here. I'm gonna plug it in and play a demo track for you. My guitar's tuned to drop C. I'm going into my MT-15, which is going into my Harley Benton cabinet with DV-77s. And I'm boosting with the Fortin 33. Let's do this. Was a little piece of OG Loco by Of Mice and Men. It's one of the drop C songs I actually know. I know, right? I know song. It's probably the only song I know. <laughs> but anyways, I hope this guitar made it sound good at least. If I didn't mention it, I was recording through an SM57 right to the side of the center of the cone. So, if you like that demo track, please leave a like underneath. If you like this video, also, please leave a like underneath. 
And if you like this content, please consider subscribing because it would help me out a lot. And I don't have much else to say other than Ola England knows how to make a fucking workhorse. But other than that, I hope you liked the video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and keep making marvelous, marvelous, what the fuck? Keep making marvelous metal motherfuckers. And on that note, see ya!